Alright guys, uh, so I'm just going to do a review between the DVC 3-gun and the Terran Tactical STI Combat Master. Um, I know everyone says they're pretty much the same gun. They are very similar. So everyone, a lot of people had questions or were curious about the differences between them. So I was just going to go through that and let you know what my preference is between the two. Uh, both of them are 5.4 inch barrels. Both of them have the Extreme Shooters. Uh, stipple grip and a lot of similar controls and safety check it um, it looks like it has the Dawson wider mag release uh, tactical mag wells uh, <clears throat> very similar guns very similar um, I've weighed them and I've broken them down and weighed them and the difference difference between the guns total is about half an ounce. Um, but I did notice the barrels uh, were a different weight. Um, the DVC barrel was about uh, 0.2 ounces lighter. Um, the slide on the Combat Master, uh, I believe, was like a couple ounces lighter than the, the DVC. Um, this does have a tri-cut slide so that you guys can see. So I don't know if that helps the weight at all, but um, <clears throat> very similar guns at the end of the day. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them down. Uh, we can do some of the weights. You can see the difference in the uh, each piece where the weight is. Uh, the frame on the, the Combat Master is going to be a bit longer. Um, so. There's a little bit more weight there. All right guys, so I have my digital scale out here. Um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and take a look at the differences. Now I did notice in the DVC-3 gun, um, the barrel does have a flat spot right here, right before the link. Now, the Comet Master on my barrel does not have that flat spot, so I don't know if that helps with weight at all, or I'm not actually not quite sure why or what the reason is for it, but. Uh, that is one difference between the two. Combat Master Barrel coming at 6.6 .6 ounces. DVC-3 Barrels coming at 6.5 ounces. I think earlier when I weighed it, for some reason it came out to 6.4. Now it's 6.5. So not much of a difference there. It's pretty close. Um, <clears throat> Combat Master uh, Grip and Frame. 14.9 ounces <clears throat> DVC 3 gun frame and grip 14 ounces so uh, Common Master is a little bit heavier on the frame and grip but that would be why there's a little bit more material there <clears throat> now the other thing to also note is the Common Master does have a lighter hammer on it uh, you see here it's a little bit more skeletonized than the DVC-3. DVC-3 is, as you can tell, a little bit thicker. So, a little bit of a heavier hammer on that. Um, so for the slide on the Comet Master, looking at 12.8 ounces, DVC-3, Coming at 13.3. So the DVC 3 slide is a little bit heavier than the Combat Master slide. Um, once again, I don't know if that is just because of the tri cut or if there's anything else, but I mean, there's apparently a little bit less material on that, on that Combat Master slide. Alright guys, so <clears throat> one of the other things I wanted to discuss was the price difference between the two. Um, the 
DVC-3 comes in at $29.99. The Comet Master comes in at $38.99. So about a $900 difference. Um, for the guys that are saying they're the same gun, uh, they are very similar. Uh, I know that's like the biggest argument. Um, but you are essentially getting a little bit more with the Combat Master. You are getting that lighter trigger. Um, I did notice online that STI has changed the specs to the Combat Master, so that's changed since I've purchased mine. Uh, they're now saying the trigger is between two and two and a half pounds. The three gun is at two and a half pounds. Um, when I bought my Combat Master, the advertised trigger weight was between 1.75 and two pounds. Um, I did check both of these triggers. The DVC-3 came in just under two and a half pounds. My Combat Master came in at 1.7 pounds. So um, mine is on the lighter side, which I like. Um, the other thing that you're gonna be getting is you are gonna get, instead of three mags, you're gonna get four mags. Um, these are the Xylon coated mags, so they are more expensive than the regular stainless ones. Uh, these go for about 75 a piece before the base pads. The Terran base pads, I think, are like $35. So essentially, the difference in the magazines alone is about $300. Uh, so if you take $300 from the, you know, the $3,900, you're looking at $3,600. So it's about a, you know, six $700 difference. Uh, between the two guns, um, I guess more like six, six hundred dollar difference. Uh, but once again, you are going to get you know the lighter um, hammer uh, and trigger pull on the Combat Master. So just something I wanted to you know say on it. At six hundred bucks though um, for something that was in you know in the movies. It's the John Wick's you know John Wick's gun. Uh, if you want something like that and you you know you like. Um, you like the movie a lot. I mean, I don't see why, um, you know, 600 bucks isn't a ton of money when we're already in this price range. Um, the other thing is, I mean, the slide work, there's a little bit more slide work in here. I mean, you're, you're getting a, a matte finish and then also a shinier finish. So it's like a two-tone finish uh, where the DVC-3 is, you know, just one finish on it. Uh, so. All right, guys. Um, so... <clears throat> Backstory on it, I've owned a Tactical 5.0 since 2012 in 40 cal. Absolutely love it. I've actually changed a couple parts to get it closer to these. Um, so I have the same grip every time I grab one of these guns. Uh, I did change the mag release. I got the, the wider pad on it from Dawson with the tapped one. Um, I can actually say, you know, the Dawson piece it when you push on it is a lot smoother than the factory STI mag release uh, it's actually smoother than both of these as well so if you guys are looking to smooth out that mag release a little bit the Dawson piece is, is awesome the uh, I also switched out to the extreme shooters grip on my tactical and yeah it's, it's that's a great gun so I was back in the market looking for something else I kind of wanted to get into a nine millimeter uh, less expensive ammo uh, you know less recoil they're just and a lot less expensive to shoot. Uh, so I was looking for one, saw this, happened to see this, that this was coming out in the John Wick movie and got really excited about it. Uh, took a look and fell in love with the design. I think it's one of the most beautiful guns that STI uh, has ever put out, uh, you know, in conjunction with Terran Tactical. Uh, Terran has a really cool design on his Combat Masters. Uh, it's very similar to the Glock, or almost the, the exact same, but you know, obviously on a different uh, slide. So I bought it, uh, shot it, and <clears throat> told my dad how much I loved it because uh, he is he's very much into guns as well. He has a 2011 uh, framed uh, Fusion <clears throat> and a six inch slide. And that in 45, that gun is awesome and is a complete tack driver as well. So he took a look at the Combat Master and did some research like I did. Uh, I know I had looked at the DVC-3 gun, but absolutely fell in love with the Combat Master design because I, I think it, this is one of the most attractive guns I've ever seen. Uh, so my dad picked up a DVC-3 gun and we were able to meet up and go to the range with the two of them. The, uh, we shot each other's guns. Um, both love the Combat Master, but I fell in love with the three gun as well. Uh, there's something about it. I don't know if it's the weight of the gun or what it is, but it shoots better for me. 
uh, I'm, I'm more accurate with it. Uh, I'm, I mean, very accurate with both, but I enjoy shooting the three gun more. I'm, for some reason, it feels more comfortable to me when I'm shooting it. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is. Um, now the triggers are a little different. I do prefer the trigger in the Combat Master. It's a little bit lighter, probably about three quarters of a pound lighter. I wouldn't go much lighter. I, would, I don't think I would actually ever go lighter than that on a trigger uh, for a pistol. <clears throat> The DVC-3, mine when I first weighed it came in at two and a half pounds. It's still coming in over two pounds. My dad's DVC-3 gun, he's got quite a few thousand rounds through it. His, when we, when we tested it, was coming in around 2.1 pounds. So I don't know if they work in at all or, or if they lighten up or if maybe he just happened to get one that had a little bit of a lighter trigger on it. But it's, I mean... It, there's not a ton of a difference there. I will say that the three gun, for someone looking to get into a five and you know five point four inch barrel or or something for competition, the three gun would be perfect. Uh, the combat master would be great too. I mean, if that's if if you if you love the looks of it uh, and you want to spend a little more money, a little bit more money, that's you know up to you. I bought both because I absolutely love both guns. And I was able to. Uh, now, people always ask me if I had to choose one, which one would it be? I really don't know. Uh, probably keep the Combat Master because I love the way it looks. It's kind of got the cool movie nostalgia to it. But at the end of the day, the three gun has my heart too. It's it's just a great shooter. And I mean, anybody looking, you would save a thousand dollars. You'd be able to do just as much. I mean, I think I could probably outshoot myself with the three gun over the Combat Master personally, just because of the way the gun feels to me, I'm more comfortable with it. Same grips, all of that, but for some reason, when I shoot this one, it's I I shot both today, and I preferred the three gun over the the Combat Master. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions. I know a lot of people ask or well, which one is better? Or, you know, what's the differences? There's not a ton of differences. Like I said, I can't really explain it, but the three gun shoots a little bit different for me. Uh, and I, I prefer it. So trigger wise though, I do prefer the combat master. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I'm lucky enough to have both. Um, anybody looking to buy one, you can't go wrong either way. It's just your price point and you have to decide what you want to spend. Um, and I think either way you're going to be happy with the your purchase if you buy the Combat Master or the three gun. And now STI is coming out with a whole nother line, so I'm sure they got something else coming out to replace these two in that 5.4 range, and who knows, maybe that'll be another one we buy. All right guys, thank you for watching, and hopefully that answers some questions.